Good day, good morning, good afternoon, one and all. We're filming here in Houston, Texas at a wastewater treatment facility. I'm delivering a, a compound that is used for the water treatment, which is a type of resin as well as it's also called a polymer as well too. So today we're going to be, um, we're presently, or I'm presently airing, this is called an air off. So there's two types that we do. We do, well there's three types. We do a air off and um, we also do a, what is called a pump off, which we use a pumping system, which I will describe in another video. And sometimes we use a combination of both air and pump for a faster um, unload process. So we're using air that is supplied air from the customer, which is also called a consignee. And we're pulling from 25 PSI, around about 26 PSI, PSI, I'm sorry, 26, 27 ish. And it's going up to my tank and I'm pressuring, pressurizing my tank here. Uh, this tank is also called a silver bullet. This tank here is a open tank. It has no baffles and baffles mean that it has dividers inside of it. It keeps it from moving, so this is a pretty high slush capacity here, so it moves quite a bit. Um, this product is pretty thick. The condensity of it is pretty thick, and we're doing a air off, and we're airing off by three-inch line, three-inch holes here. It's a high-pressure, high-temperature line, and it goes over to the customer, to their receiver, and it is controlled by a globe valve, so it is in an open position. In order for this process to go, I have to release the contents out of my tank via internal and external valve. So this is the internal valve, which is that right there. And you know it's engaged when, when it comes, when the stem is all the way down, it means it closes. When it's all the way up, it means it's open. And we open that by using a hydraulic system, which is a pump system here with hydraulic lines. And it's a manual pump. And we pump it. It has an oil in it that energizes the pump when it's pumped and it's open the valve rather i'm sorry and then we also have a uh, a check of, of this or a secure a security for us this is a a gate valve i mean a rising stem valve because this causes a stem which it opens and closes so we have the internal valve and the external valve it's all the way open and then we do about a quarter of a turn back that way okay and that is it. And we watch it and up, and up, up top, which I'm not going to climb up top because they got cameras everywhere here. And um, I will go up and make sure that there's no leaks up top. And, and that's it. And we just go ahead and um, continue pumping this off. This usually takes about anywhere from an hour 45 to three hours, depends on the run. Here's about a three hour offload because of the distance it has to travel for the offloading procedure. And up top, if the tank is over pressure. It has a pop-off valve which pops off around 32 PS out of 35. So right now we're running in between 22 to 25 um, up top because I can gauge and I can throttle um, what I have coming in. So once again, this is an airing system. We're airing off this product here at the waste treatment plant here in Houston. Um, one of several plants they have here that I deliver to. Okay. I think it's only two that I delivered to, maybe more, but two that I know of that I delivered to. Okay, awesome. Hope this was helpful and enlightening, okay? See you on the next video. Cha-cha, peace out.